Hey brothers and sisters, God bless each and every single one of you. It's Hunter's Point here. The uh, Lord's given me another message here on Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas to all of you. I hope you're having an awesome day with your families. And it's just been a blessing to be able to witness all the signs that we've witnessed and everything that's gone on this year, which I will cover in another video. It's sort of a year-end recap. But the Lord has given me another message. Um, I was not planning on doing anything until after Christmas was over, but, you know, when the Lord's got plans, you follow along. Amen. Uh, I wanted to talk about the greatest gift that you can ever receive and the greatest gift you ever will receive should you choose to accept it. And that's the free gift of salvation. Right? John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the gift. That's the free gift of salvation. If you accept that, if you believe the gospel, if you believe that Christ died for your sins, was buried and rose again the third day, you're accepting that gift of salvation. And that gift of salvation is eternal life. Because face facts here, you either are going to die or be raptured. Now, if you're raptured, you're a born-again believer like myself, so that obviously means heaven is your destination. But if you die, and you're not a born-again believer, you're going to be spending eternity in hell. And hell is not a good place. There's a reason why the Bible talks more about hell than it does heaven. It's to warn those who read the book. To warn people who might be lukewarm about uh, converting to Christianity. And Speaking on that, it's not even about religion anymore. It's about Jesus Christ. It's the fact he's coming back to rapture his church very, very soon. The greatest gift you will ever receive, should you choose to accept it, is the free gift of salvation, is an eternal life with Christ, with our Heavenly Father God in heaven. So I hope this short but sweet message was a blessing to you all. The gospel for anyone who might be watching this who's new and who isn't saved, perhaps, is 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, which states that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. Um, anyone trying to preach a different gospel, according to Galatians 1, 8, is to be accursed. Um, Ephesians 2, 8, 9, for by grace... Are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves? It's the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. It's God's amazing grace that saves you. And that is the free gift of salvation. If you choose to accept it, which I implore you to do, because time is short, um, it's just what a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. Accept the gift. Accept the free gift today. God bless you all. See you all in the next video.